everybody turn your mics up to laugh and your brains down to stupid because that's what these jokes will be hi i'm brad tassel from the live theater and it you know somebody said to me it's a little early for the christmas stuff and i say bah humbug to that i'm already ready for christmas anybody else Ready? Ooh, yeah. I'm listening to Christmas music. I'm doing the whole deal. And there's so many wonderful things to talk about. And I'm also ready for Hanukkah. Steve, Hanukkah's early this year. When, what are the dates? It is. Yeah, it started, uh, I think, uh, in September. And it goes right. until Valentine's Day. Right <laughs> Valentine's Day. So, there's over 77 nights of Hanukkah this year. So jump in and light your candles and burn your house down. Okay. <laughs> Well, we've got a fantastic show, and it starts right after I finish these jokes, so let's start doing that and get it out of the way. Hey, did you see this right off the bat? The International Space Station received a message recently. Take cover! Did you see that? Did you see that? Uh, as, a, as Russia tested a new satellite-destroying missile system that sent debris rocketing towards the station. Uh, the astronauts in the station huddled in the spacex spacecraft and the russian spacecraft in the station just in case the regular station was torn apart by shrapnel the russian cosmonauts were heard to mutter i told you not to click the giggle emoji on leader putin's shirtless instagram <laughs> uh, he's coming to get him. Okay. How did Dracula get on this space station? <laughs> that was the worst. It's the only accent I've got. <laughs> and by the way, whenever I do deer, it's Bill Clinton. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> now, NASA called the uh, test reckless and irresponsible. It also endangered the Chinese space station. Now, the militaries in both USA and China said, man, why didn't we think of that? Because <laughs> <laughs> they're all warmongering. Funny, war funny, people. funny. That was funny. <laughs> and by the way, Valerie, you look like you're actually uh, coming back to North. Like you, you you, had lost a lot of weight and you, you look better. You look healthier and we're proud of you. Thank you. All yes. right. Hey, next joke. LeVar Burton. Who saw this? LeVar Burton will host a new Trivial Pursuit game show. Come on, everybody. That's amazing. Yes. And knowing that, just won me a pink wedge. Nah. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, wow. Oh, man, that was my favorite joke of the week. I'm screwed <laughs> after that. Okay, here we go. I expected so much from you people. You no, know, your fake laughing has gotten weak. Okay, here we go. <laughs> not yet begun to fake laugh. By the way, where's Kevin and Liz? Okay, now. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. You, I don't think you've heard this because I just saw it today. Seth Rogen has produced a series called Pam and Tommy centered on the notorious sex tape from 1995 that was stolen from Tommy Lee and Pamela Anderson's house and released. I'm sure we all remember that, right? The story is a dark and sexy drama that titillated the nation. Uh, by the way, if the singer and, uh, I mean, if the drummer and actress uh, recreated the tape today, it would be a horror film. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're old and gross now. It wouldn't be ah, 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 ah. Okay. <laughs> Man, I wrote a lot of jokes, and this is... This is <laughs> hey, something everybody's waiting for, or no one. Starbucks and Amazon are teaming up for a business venture that will destroy Christmas forever. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, I'm kidding. Anyway, maybe though. Actually, they are teaming up to create cashierless coffee shops in New York City. Uh, what happens is you order your drink or snack on the Starbucks amp, app, and then the Seattle company takes one third of your IRA. <laughs> 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 and then, and then there's more. Amazon uses its new technology to make sure that the baristas can't access the bathroom for more than seven seconds every four hours. Then <laughs> <laughs> oh. you pick up your drink. Okay. That's that not my favorite joke of the day. Okay. Hey, President Biden, whose short-term memory seems to vote Republican, 
<laughs> forgot that he signed a climate pact just a week ago and he sold 80 million acres of offshore oil leases in the Gulf of Mexico, <laughs> mostly to Chevron and BP. Now the US made $191 million and the money will be used to buy Dawn dish detergent to wash oil off of ducks. <laughs> <laughs> So environmental, groups, environmental groups feel betrayed, by the way, as do I a little bit, as Biden said he would stop offshore drilling. But the president said he had no choice because of a court order from 2020. Activists are skeptical that this is true as courts rarely order oil. <laughs> Okay. When I when I edit this joke, I'm cutting it off at ducks and putting that part. Over. <laughs> okay. Hey, here there may be no joke here, but this story is incredible. Who has heard this? Mike Tyson recently said that he credits smoking toad venom three times a day for saving his life. You all look confused. You have not seen this. This is totally true. The venom is a hallucinogenic. <laughs> that the ex-champ says has taught him to be more creative, focused, and see death as beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, Tyson said that he was 100 pounds overweight, abusing cocaine and alcohol, so smoking toad venom was a no-brainer. Or, <laughs> or better yet, a what's left of my brainer. Yeah. <laughs> so Tyson now keeps the toads on his ranch. I mean, uh, and he closed the interview by saying... The, told, the toad's whole purpose is to reach your highest potential. What? <laughs> what the hell are you smoking? Asked the toad. <laughs> that story is totally true. And I didn't change one word of it. Okay. Hey. And in really scary news, Arizona GOP representative Paul Gossar, I think is his name, Gossar, he, he's a Holocaust denier, an insurrect, insurrectionist, and the poster child for why no nephews or nieces will come to Thanksgiving. <laughs> uh, well, I like that. On that one. I liked it too. He was censured <laughs> by Congress for a video he posted of him violently murdering New York Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Did y'all see that? <laughs> he then reposted the video after being censored. Because nothing looks cooler than an old creepy white guy murdering a 29-year-old woman. That's nothing, nothing better than that. But a comedian putting ketchup on a Trump mask is unforgivable. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, the question most people have is, uh, what is Dexter doing day these days? And can he fit this guy into his schedule? <laughs> Dexter, is on that one, Dexter. Dexter is back, season five. <laughs> By the way, the GOP is rallying around, uh, no surprise, rallying around Gusser because he uh, fills the violent misogynist space on the Republican bingo card. <laughs> An interesting note Gusser's brother Tim called him dangerous, unhinged, and reckless. Wow. And all of his other siblings, his five other siblings, campaigned for his opponent in 2018 because of his white nationalist stance and his racism. Uh, one of his siblings responded, he's the really, really white sheep of the family. <laughs> <laughs> Very white and racist. Okay. And this is what people are putting in Congress. That's where we are in the world. Okay. Oh, now some wonderful news. The first Harry Potter film is 20 years old. Yay. Wow. And the cast yeah. and the cast and director, Chris Columbus, will get together to discuss the shoot. And they'll talk about where they were when they found out J.K. Rowling is in fact Dolores Umbridge. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, who knows what that was? Anybody? <laughs> Not Eric. Okay. I get it. Good. Yeah. Jim got Listen it. to Steve's song. You'll find out. That's right. Yeah. Read Brad. It. Hey, Brad, if you want to crumple that one up and throw it into the fire behind you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not crumpling. Okay. Right, I've not been crumpling. I'm, I'll, I'll do the next one. <laughs> Britney Spears is free. 
Yay! Yay. <laughs> the singer this week was given her autonomy from the 14-year conservatorship, conservatorship under her father, Jamie. Spears said she has her first ATM card, right? She gets to drive her car again and has for the first time ever seen cash. Is that oh. wild? <laughs> she, she now has total control over financial and her mental future. Total control. Uh -oh. oh, by the way, I've got some breaking news from September 2022. Britney Spears has just filed for bankruptcy and is riding a big wheel naked down Sunset Strip. <laughs> <laughs> but really though, Britney, 39, is now free to marry her fiance, 27-year-old fitness trainer, Steely McMoney Grabber. <laughs> his, actual name, his actual name Steely Money Grabber Alright, this is going too long And I apologize, but I'm having fun this week So I'm doing it uh, Two Iranian hackers have been charged With intimidating U.S. voters By using sophisticated Computer hacks To send thousands of emails to Democrats pretending to be the Proud Boys, threatening them, and posing as Proud Boys, sending messages on Facebook, saying that Democrats were planning on editing, I mean, editing uh, mail-in ballots. Uh, the government knew the Proud Boys weren't involved when the word sophisticated was used. <laughs> yeah. The Proud Boys spokesman said, did somebody say fist? Yeah. <laughs> There's one for the fire. <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, Steve, guess what? There's only two more. Okay. Okay. And good news for Steve Goody. Steve, did you see this? I did. Uh, the Tennessee governor is inviting unvaccinated out-of-state cops to join his highway patrol. <laughs> now, the governor does have one caveat, and that is they have to die of COVID before their pension kicks in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. By the way, on this page, there's a joke that's a, like 15. I'm going to skip it. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Last one. Here we go, and then we're going to do the show. Be ready, Steve. You're doing it. Want to be glad you live here, by the way. Three people are dead and 450 are injured in Aswan, Egypt, after a severe storm pissed off a horde of scorpions <laughs> who took to the streets and started stinging anyone they came across. <laughs> Hordes of scorpions. The fat-tailed scorpion is one of the most deadly in the world. A spokesman in Egypt said... Take your people and go, Moses. Ladies <laughs> 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 and gentlemen, I've been Brad Tassel. Brad Tassel. Yay. Yay.